Yeah, okay. So in this first one, uh, we draw the scale and we start putting the data down. It says 40% milk and 70% milk. If I look at these two values, I know these are the rates involved. So let me bring them down on the rates, okay? And then this 9 liter and 3 liter is the quantity for each solution. 40% milk means milk by total. So uh, total would be the weight. So bring the 9 down in the weight part and the 3 down in the weight part. So you have the ratio as uh, uh, 3 is to 1, okay? And flip that ratio, it becomes 1 is to 3. So your answer becomes 40 plus 1 by 4 of 30 by 30 because the scale length is... Uh, is 70 minus 40 or 70 minus one fourth of 30 right so either way your answer is going to be 47.5 percent so that's how we did it with scale but we'll do it by at least two more approaches or at least one more approaches uh, approach in each of the following questions okay <coughs> so for example here of course we could have drawn the scale in everything but uh, Simply the final question was find the percentage of milk in the mixture of the two solutions. That means I had to finally find the milk upon total, right? I know when I put up the ratio, I get the uh, percentage, any kind of percentage relationship here. So I had to find this. So let me call this capital M. Capital M means final amount of milk in the solution. Remember there are two solutions being mixed together right so and i know one of them is 9 liters the other is 3 liters so my final total is going to be 12 liters let me write this again and start putting in values so my final total is 12 liters now i have to figure out the milk i was told 40 percent of this was milk right i can check that data yeah 40 percent so this 40 percent of 9 gives me 3.6 liters right and in the other one there was 70 percent right so 70% of 3 liters gives me 2.1 liters. This becomes overall 5.7, right? I forgot. 3.6 plus 2.1. Yeah, 5.7 liters. So my final answer is 5.7 by 12. So I bought the milk by total ratio. I can convert this in percentage also. I know 1 by 12 is 8.33. Multiply 5.7 into 8.33 and you will get your answer. Okay. And the answer would be 47.5% which you have already worked it out. The other way of... Uh, remember we have done work with a story where we say divide equally. Uh, so these are 9 people. Let's bring in these 3 also at 40% only. So there will be 12 people who have overall 40%. But each of these guys would be carrying 30 extra, so overall 90 extra is being carried. That 90 should be divided between 12 people, okay? You divide this, you will get 7.5, that means each person should be getting 47.5%. So this would be the third approach. This we are just doing for fun's sake basically, or putting some load on our brains. You will eventually use one approach, but we also want to see that all of these approaches they are, are doing the same thing in, in, the, in the background or in the actual mathematics, okay? So whatever you are comfortable with. So we'll follow the same tripartite approach for the next few questions, uh, whatever method you are comfortable with and plus revising each of them would also be a good idea, okay? Stop. Okay, uh, so in this one, let's look at the scale first. Draw the scale, draw the line. You have 42% and 57%. Those are obviously your initial rates. So put them on the scale, 42% on one side, 57% on the other side. But beyond that, this would require some looking, uh, I mean some translating and in understanding information which is hidden in the language form. It says, the resultant mixture has equal amount of water and milk. Which means milk upon water is 1 by 1 or milk is half of total or milk is 50%. So you know the final solution, in the final solution milk percentage is 50%. So in the scale you know the resultant, so you put that 50% there. Now you have these three parts. 
uh, without worrying about the question anymore, the difference between 50 and 42 would be 8 and the difference between 50 and 57 would be 7. The ratio would be 8 is to 7 at the bottom. But we know we have to flip it while putting on top. So the ratio becomes 7 is to 8. And that was the question. Find the ratio in which the two solutions were mixed. So the ratio of the quantity of the two solutions would be 8 is to 7. Okay. Or oh, sorry, flip it to 7 is to 8. Yeah. But... Uh, putting this away, we don't, I mean, we can do it again by uh, understanding very basic relationship. It says the resultant mixture has equal amount of milk and water. That means milk upon water is 1 by 1 or milk upon total is 1 by 2. I know this to be true in the final solution. So, let's figure this out. When a milk and water solution having 42%, notice the quantity is not given, so you have to assume a quantity. The milk would be 42% of quantity 1, right? And in the second solution, milk would be 57 plus 57% 57 of quantity 2. And overall quantity would be quantity 1 plus quantity 2. Just move this around and you will get the ratio of q1 and q2 so that would be your standard mathematics approach though of course this formula is nothing but the weighted averages formula but we don't really need to think of it we just need to think of final final solutions and basically what is happening it is a ratio given milk and total let's put milk in the numerator let's put put uh, total in the denominator and and we'll get through okay <coughs> yeah okay And the third, the story approach here would be Q1, let's say Q1 people had 42 coins and Q2 people were coming in with 57 coins. And I know finally Q1 and Q2 put together have an average of 50, right? This part we already know from interpreting the information, right? So now I know I will do the same thing. I'll bring in everybody at 42 only. So Q1 and Q2 number of people should have had average of 42 if everybody came in at 42 but the truth is everybody was carrying 15 extra each of them was carrying 15 extra because the average required was 42 and they have 57 there's a distance of 15 each of them was carrying 15 extra overall they were carrying q2 into 15 extra right this extra should be divided equally between everybody right so q2 into 15 divided by q1 plus q2 should be given to everybody everybody we are assuming has 42 already this much should be given we know everybody was given 8 right because it has gone from 42 to 50 in the story so i know this is equal to 8 once i solve this equation i'll get the same ratio okay here obviously the application you would find it difficult but i'm applying the same story you can go back to previous videos and they were using this method i'm doing the same thing the extra is being divided between everybody how many people these many people how much extra 15 extra 15 extra per person how many people q2 people so overall extra this much extra extra divided between everybody i don't know that but uh, I don't know how to calculate this because I don't have values for this but I do know from the story that 8 extra was given and what is the story that everybody came in at 42 only in that case the average should have been 42 and so on and so forth I hope you get the idea yeah complicated it would be stop Let's look at the scale approach first. Uh, I look at 18 liters, I know it's going to go into the weight part, right? And look at 20 liters, which is the second solution, I know it will go to the weight part for the other one. And I know it was it has 75%, so I know 75% is a rate. So put it, put it on the scale, right? So I know weight 1, I know weight 2, I know rate 2. I do not know rate 1, that has not been given. But I also know the mean rate, the resultant mixture has 48%, so I should put that in the middle of the scale, right? Now, find the percentage of milk in the first solution, or basically R1 is being asked for. Now, just watch, you can just watch this happen and see how it is being calculated, the same operation is being followed. I know 75 uh, and 48, there is a difference of 30, 27, right? 
and the ratio 18 is to 20 I had that would become 9 is to 10 that becomes 10 is to 9 so 9 is corresponding to 27 9 x is 27 so x is 3 so 10 x would be 30 48 minus 30 would be 18 percent okay so I hope that made sense otherwise uh, if I look at uh, doing it by standard mathematics it says the resultant mixture has 48 percent milk that means finally milk by total is 48 by 100 okay now let's figure out the milk when 18 liters of milk and water solution was mixed with 20 liters of milk and water, I do not know the milk in the first solution because it is going to be R1% of 18. But I do know the milk in the other solution, 20 liters of milk and water having 75%. 75% 75 of 20, 3 by 4 of 20 is 15. So R% of 18 plus 15 divided by the total quantity, I know the total quantity is 38, 20 plus 18 right this is equal to this solve this and you will get your value so this so those people who prefer standard equations this this would be very very easy but for either approaches you need to understand what's happening in the story in detail okay uh, we can try the third approach also if you want okay so there are 18 people their average is a i do not or or let's call it r1 for sake and there is uh, 20 liters or 20 people with 70 percent right or was it 70 sorry 75 percent okay and I know okay so let's follow the story if everybody had come in at R1 only for 38 people the rate would have been R1 but everybody's rate became I know the actual rate became 48 percent right so why is that because uh, uh, and I don't even know whether I mean uh, the, the, the rate has reduced that means I can assume that this R1 would be obviously less than 48 right so these guys are carrying extra but I do not know how much extra is that but that extra theoretically would be 75 minus R1 right that much is extra how many people are carrying that extra 20 people so overall extra being carried is 20 into that this extra should be divided between everybody and how many people are there 38 people so 38 so everybody should be getting R1 plus uh, 20 into 75 minus R1 divided by 38 this much is extra and I know once everybody was given everything everybody got 48 so this is equal to 48 solve that equation you will get your answer so the story form might have seen very very easy earlier but it will look difficult here but it's still working but it's giving you an equation finally at the end of the final step. You have still have to work the equation. Okay. Stop. Yeah. Uh, this one is fairly easy. Draw the scale, you already know the rate 1, rate 2, weight 1, weight 2 on sides. It says in the written test, there is a written test and there is a viva and there is an overall percentage. So obviously the 75% uh, is one rate, put it on one side. The overall percentage you know as 68, put it in the middle. And you do not know the percentage for the viva, but you do, no, do know the marks for the written test, right? And when we are talking about percentage marks, marks, percentage marks are marks upon total. We have discussed that for any rate which is a numerator by denominator entity, the denominator is the weight. So the weight for the written would be 500, put that there. And uh, for the viva, I do not know the rate, mark it as x, but the weight would be 100. And the ratio 5 would be 5 is to 1. Flip it around, it would be 1 is to 5, right? Now I know the difference from 75 to 68 is 7, right? And this corresponds to 1. So 5 would correspond to 35 right so uh, from 68 go back 35 percent and you would get uh, 68 minus 35 33 percent yeah okay stop <coughs>